Hello and welcome to 2023. Hard to believe we're saying that already. Hey, it's Ian and today is Tuesday, January 3rd. Wow, 2023. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the uh, December sales report and also a look at the year in review and then some thoughts for 2023. Don't forget if you want to book an appointment with me to talk about real estate, whatever you're thinking about, buying a home, selling a home, or just chat about the market, you can click the button below and make an appointment. I'll get back to you right away. Okay, so what I'm going to do right off the top is talk about just single family homes for the month of December. No real surprise here as we go down. What I've got, I've got 2022. It shows 64 single family homes sold in the month of December. And then the two COVID years, 72 uh, last year, 91 the year before, there's the big month. But what's interesting here, we're really not that far off. 19 the last uh, year before COVID, 67, 18, only 46. So Certainly, if you're in the business like we are, it seemed like a slow month, but that's why I like looking at these numbers to put it in perspective. Not that bad, really. Actually, four-month trend, you'll see it here too. September, October, November, and December. 49 in September, really the slowest month we had. And then October 73, November 55, and December 64. So it actually went up a bit, which is unusual. How about the median price? Here we are for the uh, four months now. Just so you can see what's happening. 785, remember the median price is the price right in the middle of the market. 785 in September, October 799, November 749, and December 745. So really kind of flattening out as we finish out the year. And it looks like we're down 21% in the median price from December uh, right through to today. So that's where we start 2023. Now, how about the year in review? Here's what I did. Total number of single family homes sold. This is for the entire year, 2020 year, 2022, what we just finished. 1,103 single family homes sold. The year before, 1577, everything was selling. You remember, 1306 in 2020, and then back to 19 again. There we are, 1123, and November 18, I should say, all of 18, 12, 12, 1,212. Those are the total number of single family homes sold. So you see the trend, big spike, back down. And that leads me to what to expect in 2023, really. Uh, three things, stabilizing interest rates. I think we've seen the end of, you know, seven times in seven months, and everybody's talking about that. It might go up one more time this month. That seems to be it then. And I think buyers are getting used to that. Hey, this is the new norm. I don't think they're going to be dropping anytime soon, probably throughout the year, balance of the year where they are. More homes coming on the market. One of the things that still remains frustrating for home buyers, there really isn't much to sell. You know, I'm going out this afternoon with somebody, we're going to see one house and that's it. Now, normally, January, we have fewer listings than normal. Uh, but I think, you know, like buyers have been on the sidelines. I think sellers have been on the sidelines, too, trying to make sense of, hey, where is the market? I think we're seeing now this is our market, right? More of a, my last point, a return to a more normal market where offers are made, conditions are in the offers. There's a lot of negotiating back and forth. So you need someone good at negotiating. And you're also going to have lots of offers subject to the sale of another home. Very common now as people don't want to get stuck owning two houses. So that's the report for this time around. Again, if you have questions about real estate, reach out at 250-616-3641. And I wish you all the best in 2023.